Benares and Jagannath Puri. <coughs> Benares, the spiritual heart of India, was a major center of Vedic learning. During his time in the Himalayas, Jesus' endeavors have been centered almost exclusively on the practice of yoga. In Benares, Jesus engaged in intense study of the spiritual texts of Santana Dharma, especially the Upanishads and the Bhavaha Gita, which he later quoted in his discourses in Israel. When Jesus had come to the point where the Acharas of Benares were satisfied with his level of scripture and philosophical knowledge, he was sent to the sacred city of Jagannath Puri, which at that time was a great center of the worship of Shiva, second only to Benares. In Puri, Jesus lived some time in the famous Govanan Ma, today a major center of monastic order, <coughs> the foremost philosopher saint of India, known as Adi Shankara. There, he perfected the synthesis of yoga, philosophy, and renunciation, and began to publicly teach the eternal Dharma. In the 1950s, the former head of the Govardhan Math and head of the <coughs> entire monastic Swami order claimed that he had discovered inconvertible historical evidence that Jesus had lived in, <coughs> in the Govardhan Math as well in other places of India. He was writing a book on the subject but died before it could be finished. Unfortunately, the fate of his manuscript and research is presently unknown. As a teacher, Jesus was popular and was <coughs> proficient in teaching and gained great nority around all levels of society. However, those who were making religion into a business became intensely jealous and even began to plot his death. Therefore, he left Pori and returned <coughs> to the Himalaya regions. There, final instructions were given him regarding his mission in the West and the way messages could be sent between Jesus and his Indian teachers. Jesus also lived in various <coughs> Buddhist monasteries in the Himalaya, Himalayan region at this time. Jesus was aware of the form and purpose of his death from his very birth. But it was the Indian masters who made everything clear to him regarding them. They promised Jesus that he would be sent a container of Himalaya balsam to be poured upon his head by a close disciple as a sign that his death was imminent, even at the door. When Saint Mary Magdalene performed this action in Bethany, Jesus understood the unspoken message, saying, She is come aforehand to anoint my body to the bearing. Mark 14, 8.